Hey, it's Mike with the 61 Beetle and the 66 Split Bus. I uh, like or subscribe if you want to help me get to a thousand subscribers. I want to show what I'm doing now with my stereo uh, Bluetooth system. And, and uh, what I bought is this Kenwood. Um, it's a Kenwood Bluetooth uh, amp. And remember, I put in the, the, the speaker wire that connects to the two back speakers. And I want to get a five, I think it's a five and a quarter or whatever, we want one speaker for there. So I'm going to use a, the three-four the, the three dash four setting on this. So I get a mono speaker here in the front, and I get two stereo speakers in the back. And I use a combination of these wires. So what I did, I was trying to find the best place to mount this, and I didn't want to drill holes in my body. So what I wound up doing, and uh, you know, may agree with this or not but what I basically wound up doing was to uh, uh, get some water weld epoxy and epoxy onto the uh, body here four bolts like this and then this I had to dremel out these holes here so they uh, take these bigger screws they say the bigger bolts and then I can take this and Stick it down on there, and then I'm gonna put my, well, I can decide if my, if this should go under it or over it. And I, I think maybe what I'll do is I'll take this and put it under it because there's a little gap in the, uh, I think there's enough of a gap here. Yeah, so that can go under it and that won't get in the way of anything. That's uh, the, the, the fuel gauge cable. So then I have lock washers. Put the lock washers on here. Um, and I might Dremel cut off the tops of these bolts. They're definitely a, probably a, almost an inch long, too longer than they actually have to be. Well, maybe not an inch, but they're a couple centimeter or two too, too long. And um, so now what I have to do is wire it up. So in the wiring, I have a couple of things. So this goes straight to the battery. So I've found that there's this cable here, goes to the bottom of my starter, and I think I'm gonna just get a, um, a spade splitter, and I'm going to have this one, which goes straight to the battery, straight to that starter of the battery, um, and I'm gonna split that and connect it to this yellow one. Then I have this black one, which is the ground, and all I had, is, I had, all I had was this red, um, as far as the, what is this, 10 gauge, 10 or 12, 12 gauge. And so I'm going to connect this one to the black and I'm just going to connect it here to my, the, the little attacher bolt for my um, radio antenna. Cause I don't think I'm even gonna be using the radio antenna, but then that needs a, a, a big fat connector here. Um, so what I need right now, and then I'm gonna connect, I'm gonna cut this extra excess cable and I have to connect that to the, some some uh, combination of these stripey purple, green, blue uh, ones. And I'm not going to use the RCA. And then the ones that I'm not using, I'm going to just cut them, uh, you know, at a reasonable length in case I use them in the future. And I'll probably put, actually probably what I'm going to put over them is um, my extra, um, what do you call them, the headliner bow caps, which will be really perfect little... Um, rubber caps for these big fat cables and then I'll tape them all up with electrical tape and they'll just sit here probably zip tied into onto this. Um, then this guy here is my little remote control device and I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to put that into the glove box and just have a little cable hole for it or what I'm going to do with that. But right now what I have to do first is to um, get a spade splitter for my battery uh, power for that. And I have to get uh, uh, some of the um, big wire connectors because um, I only have little ones left because this is a pretty big wire that needs, you know, that the yellow caliber of, uh, of uh, connector for something this big. I don't like the fact that I'm using red wire, but actually this gauge wire is kind of expensive. So I might just put um, like one of those, uh, this shrink wrap stuff over it to turn it black and then that'll just be my ground. I said the yellow one has a 40 amp fuse, so I think I can just go straight into the, um, I'll go straight into this wire here, uh, which comes from the battery. This is supposed to connect directly to the battery, so there's a little question mark in my mind as to whether I can go to that one, but that goes straight to the battery as well. Um, 
because it's always on. And the question is just whether I should have run a whole nother wire to the battery from this versus splitting it off of my ignition's uh, always hot uh, wire. Um, that's a same gauge wire. I think that's also a, what, a 10 gauge or something like that. I have to look, I can, uh, I can test some of these other wires and see which other one is straight from the battery. Maybe there's one that makes more sense like the headlight or something like that. It looks like an even thicker gauge wire there going to the headlight. So uh, I can see which one makes the most sense for me to um, split off to power the stereo because I'm trying to avoid just running a whole nother wire from the battery directly um, under the carpet up through this hole and to connect to the yellow wire. So that's what I've got going on. Um, so first today, I'd like to get this speak this uh, stereo system working so I can play some music and uh, then of course I still have my um, you know I can close up the stuff on the underneath this front trunk get my trunk carpet in there which is just the sort of the cheap loop uh, carpet and then I have my um, kick panels here that I'll have to cut out the holes and put these here for my uh, heater tubes coming out underneath the back seat um, I started researching what I need here as far as a pump and a, uh, you know, this hose here goes to the um, squirter nozzle, but I have to figure out like, what switches that to be actually squirt? You know, this has to, must go through something that there's some kind of a switch. And I don't think I have the right switch as far as having a button or something to press the, um, to get the squirter going. But anyway, I'll, I'll have to keep researching that. For now I need a spade splitter so it should go uh, like a male spade and well I could probably get away with like a three spade splitter that'll get me my power and then I need a big fat uh, uh, connector just to connect my ground and then I'll, you know I might buy a whole pack because I'm gonna need four more for this stereo wire and then I would need two more for the uh, mono speaker. Um, you know, I have like a six inch or a six and a quarter or whatever round upstairs, but this mounting bracket is for a five uh, and a quarter. So I would have to put an adapter bracket in there to use that speaker. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, whether I'll just order a five and a quarter and go ahead and put it in there as my mono speaker. Um, and then I can do the fade so that I can make the that speaker, which is right next to my face, is probably going to get a lot less volume. The two back speakers will get a lot more as far as the fade goes. So, all right. Well, that's what I got going. I'm going to go over to the auto store and see if I can find the spade splitter and the uh, big connectors. So, it's my next step. Okay, I wanted to show the progress on the stereo here. So, basically, what I've got, um, you can see that I'm just fitting this carpet in. I also have the... Um, the wire blocker uh, there, but uh, if I remove this carpet, uh, I put a pad there. So the pad I also cut for these uh, springs. Under the pad, you can see I have my Kenwood. Kenwood is there, it's hooked into my rear speakers. It obviously, it hooks to ground here, and then it hooks to the, um, basically what is the battery here. And then it has a blue uh, ignition control. So that means that there's constantly power going to the Kenwood from the battery at all times, even when the car is off. And then this blue wire is from the ignition. So I used some of these little uh, splitters for the um, uh, spades and that seemed to work pretty well. So then coming back here, I have so this guy, I'm not done yet with exactly where this is gonna go, but this uh, Kenwood thing, I might put it in the glove box. Um, then I can put a little, a little, you know, thing in the side of the cardboard and I can kind of get this guy in here like this. That's one possibility. Um, because once the volume is correct, you don't really have to touch this very much and it's out of the way and I can run the wire through. This is like a fiberboard thing. I can just make a little hole here on the side and possibly run that wire through like that. So that's one possibility. 
or down here at the bottom or up here at the top. That's one possibility. I would need to make a little bracket and push it back far enough so this little knob doesn't get in the way of the door. But that's a good possibility to get that out of the way. And the wiring, um, you know, I just keep all the wiring in there with one little tiny hole in the uh, fiber board here. And then here in the back, you know, I have my two speakers. They wired up, so I realized what I had done. There was this all this like cotton or whatever is in there to dampen the sound. And when I screwed in those, I screwed in the top thing and the screw caught on the cotton and it wrapped it around and around and around. And that wound up pulling the speaker wires out of the speakers, the ones that go from the little uh, connectors in the back to the speaker itself that got twisted and pulled out. So that's why those speakers didn't work last time. But now they work. Um, so let me show this uh, stereo in action. I need some like copyright free music. Otherwise, I can't play it. So let's see, what can I, what can I do? Christmas song? Um, how about Bach? Uh, Mozart. Let's see, let's see if they, uh, copyright me on that one uh, I'm gonna put this here I'm gonna show what happens the only thing that's sort of annoying is that my fuel pump always goes so let's see so you can hear the fuel pump then this thing just automatically connects. See the lights on. So, the way this is, is volume works like that. So that's great. And then I can go to next song. Next song, I can pause it. And then replay it. And this is great. This is a such a calming effect, isn't it? Okay. So the thing about this, which is good, this is a marine um, Bluetooth. So like this is sort of meant for wet weather. So I don't have to really care if this, uh, you know, what happens. I have the same. I have a previous version of this in the bus, which I've always been happy with, and I tried to buy that one, but it's been discontinued. So this is the new version of it. And probably what I'm going to do is just make a little bracket, and I'm going to put this inside the glove box, so it's going to wind up looking just like this. Um, the alternative is to try to make it actually go. Um, the alternative is to not, whoops, not put it in the glove box but to make a little bracket that puts it down here, but then it's sort of in the way of people's knees. You know, I could make a little bracket and put it here, but since the way this works is, this has to go around something. I, I did a, a wood bracket in the, in, the, uh, in the bus, and that is gonna sort of get in the way. Here would, would work right under here. In fact, that would that'd be good, but the fuse box is there, so. You know, there's a uh, bolt here for the steering column. You might be able to make a bracket, firmly affix it to that bolt there. Maybe have one more bolt coming in here and then put this here. And I guess that would be out of the way of the, um, out of the way of, of your knees, but then it's in the way of the fuse box. So, you know, I have to think about that. Um, I am like, I do like the way this looks being right here because I have my gauges here, my Bluetooth there, and my volt gauges there, and it's all out of the way of the, of the sort of stock looking dash with the Sapphire One. So I kind of like this the best, but it may wind up inside the glove box to get it out of the way. All right, well, just wanted to give the, 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 the update on this and, and, the other thing I'm going to do is, so I have a six and a quarter inch round speaker here. It's also a Kenwood. 
and I put my stereo on three speakers, which has two back speakers that are stereo and one front speaker, which is mono. And what I need to do now is get a, um, get it, is make an adapter that goes from about five inches to, well, this speaker may just be too big, but I think I can get this speaker in here like this and uh, actually have that work. But I just don't know, I need an adapter. That speaker there is much smaller, so maybe I should just buy the speaker that is the right size for this. That's probably the easiest. And then I already have my uh, connectors here for that mono speaker. I just have to wire that up. And then once I do that, I can really put this carpet in carpet pad, carpet, and uh, put the wiring cover on there. And then, um, you know, the only thing left to do is to get this flat spare tire up and in down here. So, all right, well, like and subscribe if you wanna help me get to a thousand subscribers. And, um, you know, my, uh, I'm trying to think of what my next thing is. I've got kick panels with the heater grommets. I've got the mono speaker that I'm going to do. And then I've got, uh, you know, closing up this whole trunk area. And uh, that's, I think that's sort of finishing up the car. All right, see you guys.